Well, folks, we are going to do some satisfactory calculator interactive map tutorials. We're going to go over some of the basics and work towards module of coal generators, water extractors, and uh, assemblers that do compact coal in a, like a module. And then we're going to copy and paste those. So this is a we're using these tutorials to progress through to the stages of using copy and paste and blueprints in the calculator and demonstrating a lot of the features of the calculator and how they work. So the first thing is I've pre-made a road to here and when I open the map, I we're way over here. I actually want to come over to here there's a sulfur node here and some coal nodes, pure nodes, that we are going to create the uh, the infrastructure and water and everything. It's a really good spot for doing it. So I'm going to use the calculator to spawn a road all the way across there. And then down here, uh, we may need to change the height when we're in there. It may not be right. Uh, afterwards, we may cut through the land. So we will have to adjust that, but that's part of showing you how all this works. But the beginning of it is you need a foundation to start off with. So this foundation here is the foundation that we will build our first road from. Uh, we will, it's a two meter foundation. If I had a four meter or one meter foundation, that would be the size of the road foundations used in the calculator from this point forward. I'll show you that in the game. So we just need to save our game first. Uh, this is a, a playthrough I've been doing for the experimental update, but it's irrelevant. It all works the same. Once you've saved your game, you need to open the satisfactory calculator interactive map satisfactory-calculator.com there's an interactive map and here on the screen it says click slash drop your save games here and it actually gives you the location of the save game files that's where you grab your file from so I'm going to drag across my save file to here and we're just going to wait while it loads and it loading, it's loading in everything I've already built in the game and we can zoom out I can, you can see this here and the black is the where you haven't explored just like in the game I can use the fog of war icon here to turn that off and then bang I can see everything so you can see everything that's been made in the game here we're not going to worry about this stuff here's me hello and I'm a, this is this foundation I'm talking about now the first thing I want to show you is when you hover on the foundation you can see that I have two meter foundation and its altitude is 39 meters and there's an arrow to the left of the word foundation pointing north that direction is where the when you do the operation to create a road that's the direction that they're going to be created in I want to go to the east which is to the right so I can right click on the foundation and select rotate foundation by 90 degrees so now when I hover on the foundation bingo it's pointing to the right now and you will have noticed this icon just appear undo rotate by 90 degrees so you, you, there are some actions you can undo now before we go any further how far is it as well there is a ruler here called the measure and if i click on here somewhere here and now i've got a line and it's telling me it's about 800 foundations 880 foundations that way i just use that to get a an understanding of how many we're going to run because we're going to do a couple of these so I'm just going to press escape to close that and if you press escape again so it's already it's still in red it's still in the measure mode you can click on it again to take it off measure mode or you can press escape and now it's no longer in measure mode and you're just in the lovely pan mode now what we're going to do is we're going to zoom back in again so it's easy to see when you have larger saves the zooming in and out can take a lot longer so please be patient while it redraws and recalculates assets so when i right click on the foundation i'm going to select spawn around foundation 
and it says foundation eight meters by two meters so it's actually the two meter foundation is the basis of the next part of the operation there's a lot of choices here to do with circles hollow circles rectangles hollow rectangles polygons we're not going to play with all of those they will be covered in another video this video is about getting the basics down pat as we work towards doing blueprints so i'm going to select a road and there is a, a slider button here use materials from your containers now i've got spare concrete so i'm going to let it use the concrete in my containers if you don't have enough concrete you can just uncheck that and then it will work regardless and you will be a day walker just like me that's a dirty cheater in snort's language click the submit button now the width i'm just going to have a one foundation width and the length the maximum i can do is 255 so i'm just going to make it 255 there's the direction and the curvature aren't relevant here so we're just going to go submit bang we just went to across to the right i'm going to move across and we're going to keep doing that so remember i said that was about 880 it continues to put the foundations in the direction they were before spawn around i'm going to do a road it's going to be one and 255 perfect now where are we going good question on the left side of the calculator there's a whole lot of icons i want as a sulfur pure node that is here and there's this coal node here so this is where we're heading we're going to do it all so once again i can just grab the measure and get an idea of how many foundations we're going to run We'll do 140. But before I do that, remember that the foundation's pointing to the east. Now I want to head south. So I have to rotate the foundation by 90 degrees first. And now I can spawn around and I can do the road. And that's almost done. I'm actually going to because oh, i want to go and inspect the height and all that sort of hoo-ha um, i'm going to right click on this foundation and go teleport player on foundation and i'm going to bring the host player over to here easy so when we load this is where we will be now i'm going to click the download save icon here and save changes and this will put it into my downloads folder and all I need to do now is move this into my save game folder where I got the save from earlier. Go back to my game, load my game, and select this is the one with the hyphen calculator. And just go load. And as you can see, I'm here, over here, and I can already see that we need to move this up a bit. And what do I mean by that? I'll go run down here and I'll show you what I mean. 